up guys, it's Team Nixus here. Today we got a banger video for you guys. Have you guys ever seen a freestyle tournament? Maybe like the BMW one, I don't know. And all these players are doing these crazy mechanics. And you're like, my guy, how do I do that? But why? Why would you do that? Don't worry bro, we got Spyro. You might know him from his TikTok ground pitches. Kai Tex at LFC to show you all of the craziest mechanics you can pull off and how to do them. Bro, this video is a banger, so please watch the full thing. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button, please. We're so close to 100 billion subscribers, guys. Let's go. What's up, boys? Just before the video starts, make sure you go and check out our sponsor, AOEAH. They offer an amazingly cheap, safe, and reliable service to buy or sell any Rocket League items in the game. Make sure you use our discount code NIXUS at the checkout for a fat 6% discount off of your whole order. Thank you guys. Hey what's going on guys, it's Nixus Skytex here and I am here to teach you a flick. Not a common flick like so, not a breezy flick like 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 this, but it is well. It doesn't have a name just yet. Um, I tweeted this last year, and people were saying it's the inverse slash reverse breezy flick, and other people were saying Kytex flick. But you know about naming a shot after someone. You guys can try and name it if you want to in the comments. Anyway, so in order to do this flick, you have to do the breezy pop like so. And obviously, if you guys know how to breezy, which I recommend knowing before learning this, then you have to learn the pop. It's the same thing, except when you reach this point where your car is facing you, then you need to stop air rolling. You have to then rotate your car down like this. And then once your car reaches a point like so, you flip, leading you into something like this. But obviously you need to hit the ball. Just to note, this flick is incredibly difficult when it comes to timing it. But uh, once you get the timing down, you could actually launch the ball pretty down for it. As you can see, it's uh, difficult even for me. But you can get some pretty impressive results if you hit it correctly. So yeah, uh, good luck and uh, keep on grinding. There are four main aspects to ground pitching. The first part is the setup, the initial pop up off the wall. The second part is angling towards the ball. The third part is the air dribble. And the fourth part is the flip into it. With ground pitching, you want to be a lot more vertical than horizontal. Uh, the more vertical you get on the ball, the higher and more powerful of a pinch you're going to get. For the second part, the tilting and air rolling, uh, it's best to do small micro tornado spins. If you watch my controller, uh, you can see me spinning right onto that top corner of the ball. That's exactly where you want to be. Thirdly, the air dribble. Once you match the ball's speed and have the correct positioning of your car, you want to air dribble it down all the way into the flip. That part is pretty self-explanatory. For the last part, the front flip into the ball, uh, there's nothing too much special with it. Uh, once you do the first three parts, that part should come pretty simple. Uh, you can sometimes get away with a corner flip, but it's a lot less reliable, and the front flip can grant you more power, especially if you no flip it. And, you know, it's freestyling, so, you know, it looks sick when you no flip it. <laughs> Yo, what's up? It's Olaf's here, and I'm gonna be showing you how to do the two wheel dash. First of all, you want to get the motion down without the ball. Spin around once with arrow left, arrow right. And as your two of your wheels are facing the ground, you want to flip to the left or right, depending on which way. So in my case, I'm going to be flipping to the left. And the second you flip, you want to hold back your arrow left or right, whatever you use, 
and your V or right stick. You can just look at my keyboard overlay if you're a bit unsure. And uh, this will allow you to keep your flip after dashing. Alright, now for how to do the two dash with the ball. Uh, you want to dribble the ball on top of your car and you want the ball to be fairly central as you jump, maybe a little more to the front. Uh, you need to get a bit of a pop so the ball has time to bounce one time before you flip into it. Um, when you flip into it, try and hit the ball with the back of your car to get more height and power. I would also recommend learning the two-wheel dash motion without the ball before you begin trying with the ball. I also want to point out that I have aerial left bound to spacebar for the people that are looking at the overlay for help. Uh, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Here are some two-wheel dash clips that scored ranked. 